Well, we brought you a story earlier saying that the Nigeria has assumed the presidency of the United Nations Security Council. Joining me live now on Nigeria's is Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Professor Joy Ogu. She joins us via telephone. You're welcome to the program, Professor Joy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, she joins us via Skype. We can see her live there. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. This is the fifth time since independence that Nigeria, Nigeria has been asked to do this. Now, how important is this uh, post that we are hosting and how responsible are we expected to be at this time? Well, we have approached this with a sense of duty and responsibility. The Security Council is the highest decision-making body on international peace and security uh, in the world, and uh, we are one of the 15 member states um, helping to take decisions affecting peace and security because that's the mandate of the Security Council. Well, today, April 1st, we have commenced the process of uh, consultations with member states of uh, the Security Council, plus Cameroon and um, the Republic of Benin, uh, the latter being on uh, the Paris in the Gulf of Guinea. Tomorrow, I'll present my program of work to, to the member states um, in consultation. And uh, subject to the approval, I'll then have to hold a meeting to brief all the member states of uh, the United Nations, 193 of us and then uh, hold a press conference to tell the world uh, what uh, we have uh, on our agenda for the month of April. Uh, but considering the turmoil in the world, uh, it's going to be uh, a tough agenda, but uh, we approach it with a deeper sense of, sense of duty, and I'm sure we will have the support of our colleagues. Right now, we have consultations going on, and that is why I will not spend uh, too much of time with you because uh, other member states are waiting to talk with us. Exactly. I was about to ask you that you must have a long list right now of what you're about to do, at least for, you know, the time being. Tell us, you know, some of those things that you may want to achieve in this period. We, we have uh, three open debates, one on the Middle East, uh, which uh, encompasses uh, Syria and Lebanon, and of course uh, Israel and Palestine. We have an open debate on women, peace, and security. This time we are going to focus on uh, sexual violence in conflict situations. And then our flagship debate is on uh, security sector reform especially as a preventive of conflict and in post-conflict uh, uh, situations. There are other consultations that we have on uh, UNAMID, UNAMID in, uh, in Darfur, and um, uh, Syria, of course, uh, two dimensions, the chemical weapons dimension and then uh, the humanitarian dimension. We're going to have a debate, and this will be exclusively for the members of the council, and okay. then the high-level representatives on the genocide in Rwanda. This is the 20th anniversary of the genocide in Rwanda, and we want to draw lessons and share with the world what we have learned from this experience. All right. Is there anything on that agenda for Nigeria? Well, everything we do really affects Nigeria because uh, we're an active player. There's nothing, Nigeria is not an agenda item on the Security Council, but whatever we do is a contribution on behalf of Nigeria to peace and security in the world. Thank you so much, so much, ma'am, for joining us on the program. I have been speaking with Professor Joy Ogu. She is the permanent representative to the United Nations, and she's going to be leading uh, the presidency position that Nigeria will be hosting now at the United Nations Security Council. Thank you.